Hey guys, I hope you're all well and I hope you're enjoying the new style aviation content. This is going to be staying for a while and uh, hopefully everybody enjoys it because we're going to be doing a lot more flying. And I want to fly classic warbirds uh, and, and, and go down that route with the channel. We're going to need some kit. The one thing I've been doing some research on is flying helmets, aviation helmets. And um, I think I need one. So I've been looking around. I've got some there. Uh, I've got a really cool Gentex helicopter helmet, which probably would do. Um, but I, I don't, I want an aeroplane helmet and something that's close to my heart, something that means something to me. We're going to make it dedicated to this channel. So without further ado, right, I'm going to grab something I've just literally received now and uh, this box has just come from eBay. I'm going to cover my dress up, but literally unsealed, unopened and uh, we're going to open it now. And we're going to do, in this video, a complete restoration of this helmet, but not just a restoration, we're going to do a complete overhaul of this helmet and make it so I can use this to do all of my flying lessons, all of my warbird experiences and uh, make it compatible with different aeroplanes as well. So that's kind of the vibe we're going to do with this. So let's have a, let's open it up. Okay. There we go, there we go. Right. Lots of bubble wrap. It's one of my favourite helmets this is. And it is an RAF Mark IV flying helmet. So I found this on eBay. And I paid £200 for it, which I consider to be a good price, depending on the overall condition of it. So let's have a look at it now and assess the condition of it. But what we're going to do is we're literally, we're going to transform this helmet. So I'm going to strip the helmet down completely. We're going to uh, replace all the equip the electronic equipment in the helmet. We're going to put a new microphone. We're going to put a new headset in. I'm going to have it so you can have an external input into the headset as well. So it can be used as uh, just a normal listening headset as well as your comms for when you're flying. Um, so let's have a look. So this is a Mark IV helmet. I did say I wanted something special to me. So obviously I'm British uh, and proud to be British. So I wanted a British helmet. I was looking at the Gentex 55s and uh, I do like them. I think they're iconic, but I just wanted something that was British. So the Mark IV was a, is a pretty good one. And for me, the Mark IV was the first ever helmet I wore whilst flying. So let's get a Mark IV and bring it into 2022. So that's what we're going to do. So I think by looking at it, the overall condition of this helmet, let's get this old visor cover off. We're not going to need that anyway. It's pretty good enough. I was hoping that we had a good visor that we didn't have to replace it. And I think we might be able to make do with that visor. What we're going to do is strip it down completely change the headset, get it resprayed, and personalize it for the channel. So let's start by stripping the helmet. Whoa, okay, so the helmet is now stripped down and I've also washed the interior of the helmet. So I've just done a good 10 or 15 minute wash down of the inside. This little parcel has arrived. I'm gonna open it now. Let's show you what's in there. Try and do this one handed. Hold on, can I do it? Here they are, I've ordered them from China. These are the headphones to go inside the helmet. Now they're not necessarily gonna be the final headphones that go in there, but there's some things that we can do to these. We can make them Bluetooth. Um, they have an aux in on them. So 
but they've got a reasonable review. So they come with a little, a little case. We're not going to need that. They're called Skylight. We was going to, um, we was going to use some David Clarks in there. Um, but I'm going to see how these turn out. And if they work, then we're going to keep them in there. And if not, we'll upgrade them to something else. But it was just to try the whole Bluetooth um, input thing on them as well. So let's see how this goes. So here's the new headset. You're going to see me doing some alterations to these later on. Guys, we're going to give Keanu a ring and we're going to see if he's willing to do this job for us. Hello mate, how are you doing? Hello you alright? How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you, good. How's the, uh, how's the new Hydra Hackers HQ? Uh, it's coming on fantastic mate, to be fair, I'm uh, quite overwhelmed with this. It's doing well, it's doing Is well. Is it? Good, yeah. good. Um, as you could probably guess, I'm phoning you because I want something. As always. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, mate. What you got in store? Wow. Um, there's two things actually. One, while I'm here, uh, what do you think? Looks pretty cool, don't it? Mate, I was going to ask actually. Where where are you? Because that looks pretty cool. So I'm at a mo motorcycle shop and HQ in Birmingham. Uh, they've got an amazing showroom and uh, a really nice cafe. So I thought I could come here and uh, do some work. And uh, I've finished my work now, so I thought I'd catch up with you and ask you a favour. Okay, <laughs> go on. <laughs> well, I've actually got one motorcycle related. I want you to do my new motorcycle for me, um, but we're not going to do that one right now. Uh, okay. I have another one, which is my flying helmet. I've been restoring a uh, RAF flying helmet, and I want you to oh. help me put my per put my personal touch on it, and I want a custom spray job on that helmet. Is that something that you'll be able to do for me? Of course, mate. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, I just thought we Have would... Any Say that again. <laughs> Have you got any ideas in mind? Yeah, I, uh, I've i got some ideas. I'm not going to say it right now because I don't want to give it away on camera. Uh, yeah. But I thought maybe let's just bring it to you. And I, I know you've got some of the colours in stock because I think we've done some work together in the past with the colours. So I think I'm just going to give it to you uh, and let you do your magic on it, if that's okay. Not a problem, mate. No worries at all. When are you thinking about coming down? Uh, how does now sound? <laughs> <laughs> I might have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, mate, that would work pretty perfect. I've got a big job coming in tomorrow, so if we can, you can get straight down to us, yeah, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah, I can leave here now, and I can come straight to you. I can be there within the hour. Sounds perfect, mate. Okay, <laughs> I look forward to seeing you. That's brilliant. Thank you. Right, I'll see you at your new HQ in about an hour, mate. Happy day. See you soon, mate. Take, Take care, man. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update now. So, everything on the helmet is clean. We've re-blacked the leather inside. So, it's looking pretty much new now. Um, so, I'm happy with putting that on my head. And... We're just about to prep the outside before the new paint job goes onto the helmet. So, uh, what do you think? Pop it in the comments down below. Does it look good? Are you happy with the inside? Would you be happy with that? Um, I am. So let's move on.
So I am so happy with how this has turned out. I cannot wait to share it with you. Uh, I've got my lights on it, everything is gonna look brilliant. Also, this is the first time we're filming in a new studio. So excuse me if it's a bit echoey, we still haven't finished. There's loads to go, loads to do. I'm not gonna show you right now because uh, I don't wanna spoil it for the main video, but uh, you can get a sneak peek in this video, say. So, right, thanks to Kiani at Hydro Hackers. You've done an amazing job. Let's turn around the camera and see how this bad boy has turned out. So here we are. So the cover that I threw away in the first part of the video, I decided to keep it because it protects the paintwork as well as the visor. Um, so I thought we'll keep it. But there's a couple of things I'm not sure about. So I want your feedback and comments down below to let me know how, what you would do. Um, so there's a couple of things I'm not sure, but I'll go through that in a second. Let's flip the helmet upside down and I'll show you what we've done inside first inside the helmet. So like I said before, we re-dyed all the leather inside and made the helmet look almost new. We've also fitted a new headset. So the headset looks identical to the RAF one that was, the standard NATO one that was fitted. Um, however, it's not, it's completely different. See the tape on there, that's not a bodge job, that's actually true to how they were installed. Uh, uh, that's how they would be installed on the real Mark IV helmets. And um, this basically just slides over and then they tape it in place. So that's all we've had to do with that. Um, but we had to cut about an inch off each one of these uh, to make them fit in. But it's, it's actually worked and it looks really, really good. I'm so happy with it. We've got the auxiliary in on it there so we can have uh, an external input into the headset as well. And there's your volume control. As you can see, there's Valcro on the back. That's again, that is standard how the original RAF one was. And it just literally Valcros onto the side there. Fits perfectly. We've also added a Bluetooth receiver. So if you can just see here, there it is, we have a Bluetooth receiver so you can listen to music. So when you've got downtime uh, and you're not concentrating on flying, you can put some MP3s on there and you can even take phone calls on it as well. I thought that was a cool feature on it. So let's show you the outer, that's what you want to see. Um, what modifications did we do? So what we did is we added on the later Mark IV helmets, this was a, an additional piece. So we bought this and put this on. Brand new, uh, brand new old stock. Uh, and, and that just protects the back of the helmet. Put my name on it and a GoPro sticker. Don't ask me why. We did put a GoPro mount on the top of the helmet. So when we're flying, we can go uh, put the GoPro on. Here is the front. Here's the part you've all been waiting for. Now, this is the thing that I'm not sure about, I think. Is it too much? Obviously, everybody that's been watching the channel for the last uh, three years know how much of a massive Top Gun fan I am. Again, sneak peek, there you go. Um, but is it too much? Is the Top Gun theme too much? I'm gonna take this off now and I've made it removable. So it does press it on the side and when these are fitted on the Mark IVs, they are screwed in here. However, I've made it Valkyrie so it can be removed. So not only does it remove it, it lightens the helmet. So if you are doing aerobatics uh, and you're pulling some G, then the helmet's gonna be a little bit lighter as well. So I thought there's a, that removing it was the best option. And then you've still got a bit of a Top Gun theme going on with the helmet as well, with my name on the back there. So guys, what do you think? What do you think to the colors? I, I actually love it. I think it's beautiful. It hasn't cost anywhere near uh, what it would if I bought this uh, off the shelf. So uh, I think the total build cost on this, the helmet was 200, the headset was around about 150. Uh, then we did get a new visor. I couldn't stand the scratches on the front, so I bought a brand new visor for the front. I think that was about 20 quid. All in all, with all the bits, I think we spent about 600, 600 to 700 pounds on the helmet, but it would have cost around about 3,000 pounds if I was to buy this brand new. So guys, what do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Would you wear this? Uh, I can't wait to do the first flying video with this on. Also, we are gonna do one thing. So if anybody's watching that wants to sponsor a business or sponsor, sponsor anything, a YouTube page, uh, a TikTok, all their business, we're gonna do a sponsor section on top of the helmet 
just here. So every time that we go up in the air and we video what's going on, your company name or your logo will be on my helmet. So if you are interested, pop it in the comments down below or message me on Instagram and we can talk. Um, but that's where we're gonna put sponsors, right on the front of the helmet, just there. Guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go in and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It means the world to me. And also click that notifications and you'll get an upload. You'll get an upload. You'll get a notification for every video uh, that we put out. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you haven't left a comment, please go in, put a comment down below. Let us know what you want to see from the channel. We've got a new place now. There's loads of things going to be happening. So I will see you in the next one. Take care. Love you all. Peace out.